Hey everyone. So we're going to do a resin piece today. Um, I'm double gloving and I'll tell you why when we get to that point. Um, I'm going to use the uh, Stone Coat Art Coat resin that um, Stone Coat Countertops had sent us. Mike and Mitch have been so gracious to uh, send us some to try and review. And if you're interested in getting some, um, use the link below in my description box and go to their website. Look for the art coat. It'll say art coat on it. And um, put it in your shopping cart. Pick out a couple of metallics or pick out something else and use the code CWA, all in caps, and you'll get $30 off your order. So that is their way of um, getting it out to all my viewers as well. So I'm going to mix up enough. Um, I want to put a white base on this before um, I add any color. So what I'm going to do is mix my resin and pour it into another cup. So we'll do that first. I think I'm going to need a little bit more because I have to cover the sides. I haven't quite mastered the amount yet because this is thicker than um, what I was using before, but I love this so much better. There's no smell with this one at all. You might get a faint hint of resin, but there's no VOCs, so it's perfectly safe to use. And I think I'll use this cup to pour it into. And then we'll move it again because I like to make sure I'm not leaving any sticky residue to the sides of the cup where you're going to scrape out last minute to get that every little bit of that resin and um, end up with a sticky spot on your canvas. And this is a 10 by 20 gallery wrap. This will be a long video. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. It's all about the mixing process and how to use. So we'll see how this works for us. So normal stirring time is anywhere between two and four minutes on most resins. Um, I've been doing this about three minutes, three and a half minutes, um, only because um, it does cut down on the bubbles if you stir slow. So I figure if I'm stirring slow, I really should stir it just a little bit longer. This amount of resin here should be all that we need, hopefully because I'm um, going to do a flip and drag, so we're not going to use a lot of color. But um, we want to make sure we have enough for the white background. So after I get this mixed, um, I'll be transferring this into another cup here pretty soon to make sure I get all of the residual stuff off the sides. <coughs> Sorry. It's quite thick. Um, most resins that I've used have been on the waterier side, but I like this because you can actually see the strands of the um, resin inside of the hardener, so you know when you've been stirred well enough. And now I'm gonna transfer that to another cup to make sure that I don't have anything sticking to the sides. You don't have to do this, I just do it because I don't want to end up with a sticky spot. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All of a sudden. My 
sinuses are acting up today. So, must be it's gonna rain. So now I'm starting to get pretty clear. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty clear now. So I'll give it just about another 30 seconds or so. And I'll continuously wipe my stick. Actually, I think I'm gonna change my stick. Just to be sure. Okay. Looking good. All right, so I need to make enough white to cover the canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and use quite a bit of this. And I'm going to put a little bit in each one of these little cups to do my colors. You don't need much. Not for a flip and drag, anyway. Maybe just a little bit more. If we have leftover, I'll throw it on tiles. Okay, let me set that aside. Just a tad more on the white. And then with this leftover, I'm just gonna put it on the canvas to um, prime it. So when I put the white on it, will blend better. Well, it'll move better, is what I wanna say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that on. I do have a piece of cardboard underneath my canvas so it doesn't sag. I almost knocked that over. So I want to make sure that um, I'm nice and even. I, if it does, um, I can always put a clear coat on. Resin is definitely messy. Um, Make sure you get some good gloves. There. So I didn't have enough to do the sides, but that's okay, because we're gonna get that white on there. All right, so I'm going to take this glove off and start mixing my colors. I probably should put one more on while I have it clean. Because when we torch, um, you want a clean hand to torch. And I'll be using a gun hand to torch so you can see the difference between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that white first and get it on because it's uh, it'll heat up in the cup. You don't wanna let your resin set too long. So rule of thumb is 10% of color to your resin. So I have um, a good amount there. So I can go ahead and add probably about that much and let's see where that takes us. If you find that your resin turns to marshmallow, you've probably put too much color in there. So do one color at a time to be on the safe side. And you definitely want to check to make sure that all that paint or um, metallic powder or whatever you're putting in has dissolved inside of your resin, has mixed well. You don't want to end up with a clump. Okay, I'm done with that one. Let that set just for a minute and get going on these other ones. So he did send me the black base. We call it that black now. <laughs> um, it does have a little um, hint of spray paint um, odor to it. So just so you know when you're using it that it does smell a little bit. I did pop it open to smell. And I'm just going to take a good little bit there and a tad more. Okay. Set that one aside. So make 
sure you mix them well. Always scrape your stick and go back in and mix more. Okay. And I did get some gold muron powder that um, Erica and Jeff were using. Mayron, Miron, I think it's Mayron, sorry. Um, I love the effect of it, so I got some. This with that black will be awesome. But I did not invest money into the paste or any of that yet um, because I want to see how well I can work with the acrylics so that all of you can actually use your kits without having to order too much stuff to get started. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now I'm going to try Mike's um, Ocean Blue Metallic from Stone Coat. Same thing, just on the end of my stick. That's plenty. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a sapphire blue metallic. And then we are going to add just a little bit of Prussian blue. Not much. I don't even need that much. That should be good. Just on the tip of the stick. And that was from Lucas Krill. So we'll see how Lucas Krill behaves. can already tell it's a little marshmallowy. Can you see it? So this may not work for us. I don't think so. Oh. Let me let it set for a minute and see. If it gets thicker, we're not going to use it. Okay, I want to get that white down before it warms up too much in the cup. save just a little bit in case I need it for the sides. And I'm just going to use my hand. And I'm trying to glide on top of that clear coat that we put down so that we're not um, intermixing too much. What I am going to do is um, heat this up Watch for hairs. If you got kitty cats especially, watch for hairs. They love to get inside resin. Okay, let me just heat that up a little bit. You want to get yourself a good heat gun. just to get it moving. And that will bring it over the sides really well. Okay, that should give me plenty to go around. Get a little um, black on the side of my canvas, but that's okay. 
because we're going to go over the edge anyway. Time to take a glove off. And I think I'm going to put one more on because I'm not done making a mess yet. <laughs> So you will go through gloves when you're doing um, artwork. If you're just doing a resin coat, you don't really need them that much. So I'm going to go ahead and put the color in this cup. Let's see how this behaved. And then I'll follow it with that blue metallic. Now you gotta remember, resin is not like acrylic paint. The colors kind of lay on top of each other. They don't intertwine, so, like with paint. But you can still get mud. So I have that in there, and um, because they lay like that, I just wanna give it a little star pattern. And we're gonna flip it in the middle. We can't use our WD-40, so we have to wait for that to fall. This is exciting, isn't it? Something new. Well, she's not going to let me poke a hole in there because my hands are too slippery. So, never mind, men. I will lift it. So I'm going to go ahead and glide this around. And you are going to pick up the white and it is going to blend in. So just remember that. <coughs> I'm so sorry about my cough. That gold is so cool. the heat gun. shift it back and forth like I do with my paintings. And go back. So I'm definitely going to use the heat gun a little bit more to push that out. Just a little bit more. I'm going to get a wipe. Alcohol wipes or a rag with 91% alcohol is a good idea <coughs> to have. <laughs> Just to wipe real quick. I mean, my cord in the way. <laughs> some more tilting. I may get my airbrush after this just for the heck of it. So I'm just stretching it out. I got a cup that it's not behaving. And I'm going to go ahead and push it around with the heat gun again. 
because we're getting some stretch to it now and it's starting to uh, move around the canvas better. got that heated up. Let's see what we can do as far as pushing some out. Oh yeah. That will work. little spot where I want to put some of that gold. Love that it's going over the edge and it's starting to come this way so that's kind of neat so let's heat it up one more time and i think we'll be done with it more blue in here. A little bit of black over that blue. Bye. 
Gosh. We hope. Outside edges. I don't want to touch those, but I need a little something here in the middle. I'm staying away from that um, brush and glue because it's too thick. We will see what will happen though. Let me just blend it in with the airbrush first. So for all you people that do resin, kudos to you. It's not easy to work with. It's not like paint, that's for sure. But if you're doing acrylic pouring, you kind of know how to tell. So that does help you in a way. get that middle back and then I think I'm gonna leave it I'm kind of liking that I love that down there so I definitely don't want to mess with that okay one glove off let's give it a torch So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below. Click on the little bell to get notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. Don't forget to order your stone coat, art coat resin. 
Um, use the code CWA, all in caps, to uh, get your $30 off an $80 order. Check out all my links. All my tools are available on the Amazon shop. So you should have fun shopping for all these goodies. Let me see if I can bring it up. It's pretty cool, but I really love this side here. So that's it, guys. I did my first one. I'm kind of happy, happy. So I will see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye.